What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lima Football. And today we're gonna to be doing another tip video. One thing totally underestimated on how much it actually helps out your game is we're gonna be focusing on your flexibility today. And uh, today helping me, I actually have Matt from uh, I Know Football. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's up guys, I'm Matt from I Know Football. You probably see me on Instagram or YouTube. But uh, I do football reviews, football product reviews, I do vlogs and uh, different football videos that you probably like. And uh, today he's going to be my guinea pig. So basically we have three different types of stretches here. We have your static stretches, your dynamic, and basically your functional work. So you know, it's, some are going to be sitting still, some are going to be some things you can actually do in practice, and some ways you can cool down after your practices here. Okay, so we're gonna be giving you one for the upper body and one for the lower body as far as your dynamic stretching goes. Dynamic stretches are basically when you're starting to move a little bit more after you've done you know, your warm up run, that kind of thing. The first one we're gonna be doing is super important for your hips here. Basically, what Matt's gonna be doing here, he's just gonna be on all fours. And we're just gonna call it basically opening the gate. So all he's basically gonna do, he's just gonna rotate that hip up and out. He actually has a wasp on him right now. There we go. And you can see all he basically does, rotates his hip up and then just switches legs or you know he can do say five reps on one side, switch over, you know, however you want to do it. And it's just working, working on opening up those hips and getting used to that. Cause you know, especially when you're getting into your more complicated steps where you're doing your pull steps or you're pulling down the line, you really need to have good hip flexibility. And you know, having good hip health is really important for your game. Okay, so the next one we have is an upper body. Now, always after games and stuff, you can feel how much pain you have in your shoulders and chest. So what we're basically gonna do here today, we're just gonna take a basic band, and all he's just gonna do, open up, he's gonna stretch out his chest a little bit, he's gonna you know, contract his posterior delts, you know, the back on here. He's basically just gonna help loosen all that up and kind of get them ready to be in you know, a working motion, of, you know, punching, hitting sleds, all that kind of stuff. And he's just gonna do that you know, five, 10 times. Again, you can grab the band, you know, a little looser to start, that way you can kind of work into it, then tighten it up a little bit. This is not supposed to be by any, you know, means a working set. You're not trying to tire yourself out at all before you get into it, so that's no big deal. We're just about warming up and getting used to getting in those working motions. Okay, so the next one we have for you here to get today, guys, is gonna be some of your actual uh, functional stretches, some stuff that'll actually really get your hips using. These are gonna tire you out a little bit more. So what we're basically gonna do is I'm gonna hold this bar out. Matt's gonna have the medicine ball out as far in, from, in front of him as possible. He's gonna squat down, try and go a little lower. There you go. And now he's just gonna bob on both sides of the bar. And right, and you can definitely feel it in your hips when you work side to side. And it doesn't help that it's a, definitely helps that it's a metal bar, so if he gets hit, it's gonna hurt. So it definitely gives you that motivation. And you're tired. <laughs> yeah, he's tired already. He's so you know, five to 10. You're basically good to go. A couple ways you can change it up. Obviously, you can make it a little higher when you get tired. You can also use something a little lighter than this eight kilogram ball, so you can go a little lighter. Again, even though it's just about your hips, you could even use a soccer ball or something. Just something so you get your hands in that working position like you would be when you're basically doing a punch. Okay, so the um, third one for you guys today is gonna to be your static stretches, some ways you can cool down. Now, you don't really wanna do static stretches before a workout, because sometimes they can tire you out a little bit more, so I'd save them definitely for your cool downs. Obviously, if it's just practice, though, you can do them before and after, really, whatever you'd like, okay? So the first one we're gonna do here, again, for our hips, pretty basic. We don't actually need a foam roller for that right yet. And basically, Matt's gonna do, he's gonna go down, gonna take, you know, for his right hip, gonna take that right leg, cross it down in front, and you're just gonna bend over as far as possible. And he's really gonna feel in his right hip that stretch all along there. You can hold it for, you know, 10, 20 seconds. Again, you don't have to start all the way at the bottom. If you're brand new to this, you can start a little higher. Go to where you feel it, and then the more flexible you get, the farther down you can go and the longer you can hold it. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna use a foam roller and any type of bar here. Basically just gives us something to hold on to. So basically this is gonna stretch out your chest, it's gonna stretch out your posterior delts, it's gonna stretch out your mid to upper back, so it does a lot of different things for you. So what Matt's basically gonna do here, he's gonna lie down on the ground. And he's gonna place that foam roller just below his shoulder blades. And then he's basically gonna grab onto the bar at both ends. And he's just gonna lay all the way back. 
And the reason we use the foam roller is so it actually gets your chest in the air. That little bit of elevation actually helps stretch it out, gets a little higher, gets that stretch in your chest. Again, keeping your shoulders as far apart as possible helps stretch out your uh, posterior and your medial delts. Hold that five to 10 seconds. And you can really feel it, especially after your workouts, it really helps stretch you out. Okay, and the last one for you guys today is actually really, really important. So basically when you're looking at stuff like cold tubs and foam rolling, the point of it is with something like a cold tub, when it gets really cold, all the blood actually rushes back to your heart. So it's trying to protect your organs. And then it flushes new blood back out to your you know, extremities, arms, hands, fingers, legs, all that kind of thing. Which is why by getting new blood, you actually feel so much better after a cold tub. Exact same thing here with the foam roller. We're basically pushing all that static blood out of your muscles and that way it's forcing new blood back into the muscles and that way it cuts down on your soreness and cuts down on your, you know, your working time and you can get back into your next workout quicker. So one basic one we're gonna show you here today, you know, there's some other better stuff you can do as far as uh, for your chest. You can use something just like a tennis ball to roll it out. You don't really need a foam roller for that, but we're actually gonna show you one here for your hips. So basically what he's gonna do, he's gonna put you know, his working hip on the foam roller He's gonna cross that same leg in front, that way it gets all the weight on top of that hip. And then he's basically just gonna roll back and forth, you know, and roll out. And you kind of see he's on his side here. That's working more kind of the side. He can kind of raise his chest up a little higher, and that's gonna work on a little more of the back of it, you know, more into your glutes and that kind of thing. Do that as many times as you need until you can work out those pains. You can see he's feeling it right now but it is so worth it after to do it. And again, don't forget to do it on both sides. So again, you know, if you guys like today's video, don't forget to give it a like. Had to fly the guy all the way out here, so please make it worth our time. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave them down below, I answer as many as possible. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks.